we torqued it off camera like every single other bolt that we've installed on this bike. What's up everybody, Jake from Prism Supply here with my 2022 Pan America. This bike has about 6,000 miles on it roughly. There's not like a ton of videos out on YouTube about it because these bikes are relatively new. So we wanted to put together a quick little maintenance series on some basic maintenance. The first thing we're gonna do is, is change the oil and probably one of the most important things for everybody to do with any vehicle or motorcycle. As far as the oil goes, I ordered this directly off the Harley Davidson website. I typed in 2022 Pan America Special S and this is the oil that came up. So this is a synthetic blend by Harley Davidson, a 15W50. And it also comes with a oil filter, and this is specific to the 1250 Rev Max motors. And in addition to that, it does come with an O-ring. We're in my home garage right now, so don't judge me for tools that I possibly don't have. I luckily have a lift. I know uh, some people won't have a lift, some people will. You can totally do this on the ground, no problem. The tools we use for this job are a half inch socket, T40 socket, actually we didn't use it, but some of you guys may need that, a hammer, and and a flathead screwdriver, and we use the hammer and the flathead screwdriver for removing the oil filter. So if you have an oil filter wrench, that'll work. And obviously a shop rag. Don't forget this, a funnel, and a drain pan, but that's not going in the shop. The parts and accessories from Harley-Davidson, this is their skid plate. If it's a stock skid plate, you have to loosen the bolts in the bottom and drop it. You don't have to loosen these two side bolts. The stock skid plate will just pivot down. On this parts and accessories skid plate, they already have a cutout where the drain plug is, so you don't have to drop this. But you will need a T40 if you have the stock same the steel. The other thing I would say, and I, I think I forgot to cover this, is make sure the bike is warm. I think the manual says to heat it up to operating temperature. I actually just wrote it here from the shop, so it's obviously warm. The oil is ready to be drained. The reason you want to do that is it just allows like the oil to flow through the engine better and then drain out. Next thing I'm going to do is grab the oil pan and I'm going to need a funnel. There is a big debate on what size this is. I've seen either a half inch or a 13 millimeter and no, they're not the same thing. I'm going to use a half inch because it's smaller than a 13. I mean, everything on this bike is metric, so it probably is supposed to be a 13, but if a half inch fits, since it's smaller than a 13, why not go ahead and use it? And then try to get the funnel under it at the same time. I'm gonna let that drain. <laughs> and it's warm. Ah, it's hot. I made a little bit of a mess. Wasn't, wasn't too bad, just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let that drain. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fill. Sometimes it helps the oil actually drain through the engine a little bit better so it doesn't vacuum seal or vacuum lock. As the oil is draining, we can go ahead and remove the oil filter. You should have an oil filter wrench for this. If you don't, then you're gonna have to do it like I do, which I think it's a good thing to show you guys. At the shop, we have an oil filter wrench. Here, uh, I don't have one because I forgot to bring it home. Right, I'm just gonna take this little flathead screwdriver and hammer it into the filter, and then I'm gonna just use the screwdriver as leverage to loosen the filter. Rotate it. Simple as that. And you might have to do it again if it's still too tight. Nope, Let's see, I can get it now by hand. So, all right, so I got the old oil filter out. While the oil is draining, there's still a little bit draining here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off because this is a, a magnet and it's supposed to collect like any debris. And there's also an O-ring here. And if you buy the kit from Harley Davidson online, but the oil change kit, it comes with a new O-ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that rubber at it too. So pull the old O-ring off. I'm just gonna set that right here. Don't need that guy, we can dispose of it. Got the new O-ring ready to be installed and it's really just as simple as just kind of rolling it over the threads and then uh, we can reinstall that. I wanna clean the mating surface for where this O-ring sits in the bottom of the engine case. So I'm just gonna take a rag and then make sure that's clean of any debris and then I can reinstall this drain plug. Just like that. Don't forget to tighten it. Doesn't need to be super tight, just snug. There's some torque spec in your manual, so follow your manual. Yeah, so basically what we gotta do with a brand new oil filter is just rub a thin amount, like a light amount of oil, fresh engine oil, don't use your old engine oil around this mating gasket surface. Some would say that you would wanna fill this um, oil filter, pre-fill it with oil, like a lot of cars, a lot of motorcycles, they say that, but in this specific case, the manual does not say to fill this with oil, to pre-fill it with oil. And it, honestly, it would be really tricky because it's a side fill. So as soon as you're trying to put the oil filter on, a lot of that oil would drain out. So in this case, we're just gonna clean this mating surface and install the new oil filter. Tighten it just as tight as I really can by hand. And that's enough. Pretty much the last step that we have to do is fill it with 15W50. I only have one funnel, so I used it to drain the old oil. I'm also gonna use it to fill the new oil, so I wanna clean it out as much as I can before adding the new oil. For the filling procedure, 
uh, the manual says put three full quarts in, run it for 10 seconds, and then cut it off and recheck the oil. You should have to top it off, I think it's like maybe a quarter of a quart after that. So like three and a quarter quarts total. Uh, there is a proper way to actually pour oil. So it's not this way, as most people would think. It's this way. And the reason that is, is because the way that the air is in the bottle, like it doesn't vapor lock or air lock. Yeah, it doesn't like glug, 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 glug. Like it's, we get a nice, smooth, smooth action pour. Just pure synthetic maple syrup. So this is our, our third and final quart before startup. Uh-oh. That's what you don't want to happen. All right, so what just happened, I was pouring the third quart in and I apparently I poured the first two, the first three quarts in too fast. So what happened is the oil didn't seep through the engine fast enough. And so it backed up into the fill and then overflowed. So I'm gonna need a little bit more than that, like last quarter of a quart of oil. Still fine to start it, but just lost a little bit. Um, so I would just say, give it a little bit more time, after, especially after you pour your first two quarts in. Fill slowly. If not, you'll just do what I did. Not the end of the world, but luckily I still had the pan underneath it. All right, so I'm gonna take the funnel out, set this aside, grab the dipstick. Put that in. Start it for roughly 10 seconds to help like bleed the air out and fill the engine oil filter with oil. I'm now gonna check the dipstick again. See where we're at. And there's actually two different marks on this dipstick. So there's one that says for side stand, and for side stand you need to be in this range right here. And then there's another that says upright full. And so you just need to be from the bottom of the dipstick to that first little line. And when you're checking this, you, you need to make sure you thread the dipstick all the way in. All right, so I am barely on the dipstick right now, which we thought would happen. We knew we needed a little over three quarts. So we're gonna add a little bit and then just keep checking it. So onto my fourth quart. I feel like we should probably be using about, I don't know, a quarter of this quarter or so. And again, fill slow so it doesn't overflow. All right, so I don't know if this is actually part of the manual or not, but I'm, I feel like it's an extra uh, double check step. And so I'm gonna run the bike again. I, I think my fill level is exactly right. I'm gonna run the bike for 10 more seconds or so. I can run it longer at this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then just check it again and see where that level's at, see if it's changed at all. Clean the dipstick off, thread it all the way in for hopefully one last final check. Yep, that's perfect. It's right at that upright full line. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of degrease some of this stuff and clean it off a bit. That way it's uh, clean and ready for me to ride, take on the next trip. But that's it for this oil change on uh, my 2022 Pan America Special S. Hopefully this is helpful for somebody. Make sure you check out the rest of the maintenance videos. Dislike, don't comment, and don't actually do subscribe. <laughs> no, comment away. I'm sure there's some other tech trick tips that you guys have. So if you have any advice for anybody else, throw them in the comments.